Hi everyone, thanks for joining us today in the, another session of uh, I, OAS Spotlight series and today we have a very special project with us that's called Cheat Sheet series. So let me welcome uh, Jacob and uh, he's one of the project leaders for Cheat Sheet series and he has worked uh, so many hours on different Cheat Sheet series and constructing what it is today. So let me invite Jacob. Hi Jacob. Hello, hi, thank you for having me here. Yeah, thank you so much. So Jacob, um, I know about Cheat Sheet series, you know about Cheat Sheet series. Let's tell everyone what it is because when I got to know about this project uh, quite a long time back, but then my assumption for Cheat Sheet series was that uh, it's a project wherein, uh, which is more of a, an offensive project, which talks about all the attack vectors. Because when you think of Cheat Sheet, they're like attack vectors which are there for any attack like cross site scripting, SQL injection or anything. So can you just brief us what it is? Uh, okay, so it's quite the opposite. So the cheat sheets uh, is focused on providing good security practices, but for builders in order to secure their applications. So mm, rather than focusing, uh, rather than of focusing on offensive side uh, or like details of the uh, defenses that are very interesting for security folks uh, we try to uh, you know create a simple good practice guides for application developers defenders architects that they can follow and they will create uh, secure applications um, yeah uh, i can Tell that I know that some offensive security folks are using cheat sheets. Um, and this is mainly for, first of all, like, you know, learning about defenses, right? So, what people are, how people are protecting the applications. But uh, most importantly, when Fantaster creates the report, in a good report, there's always a place uh, with recommendations, how to fix the bugs. And Pentester can use the Cheat Sheet uh, series project to uh, learn about these defenses uh, or maybe directly reference a web page to, uh, yeah, to help with that. Sure, so let's go ahead and look at the project. So here you just need to go to OWASP.org and uh, there are so many projects listed over there. Let's go ahead and go to the cheat sheet series. Yeah, so this is our like marketing OWASP uh, page and there should be a link. Yeah, there is a link to the cheat sheet series OWASP.org. Yeah, like uh, official website. So when you are using uh, cheat sheets, uh, this is the main page and on the uh, left hand side there is a menu with introduction free indexes and the cheat sheets so the cheat sheets at the bottom is like list of all the cheat sheets mm. and yeah if you know what you are looking for you can use uh, this but uh, first index is for it's like list of all stitches in alphabetical order. And uh, you can see that currently we have 66 of the cheat sheets. Um, more, like, more interesting are the ASVS and proactive controls. So this is a links between other OWASP projects that are uh, also defensive focused. Uh, and if you are doing ASVS in your work, uh, you can um, find the control that you uh, want to implement and then find the relevant cheat sheet uh, for it. Uh, yeah, and on, on this page, we also have a nice search button, uh, like search, search box uh, at the top. Yeah, so uh, if you type here like anything like XSS, it will show you all the cheat sheets where XSS is mentioned. Uh, so this is another good, if you don't know which cheat sheet you want to use, you just type, you can also type here like uh, technology, like uh, I know, uh, like uh, technology like .NET or Java or something like that. And 
if uh, yeah, and there should also like solve anything you want to search. Uh, this is uh, yeah, this is the place, and yeah, this is about the website. The main no uh, content is on the cheat sheets uh, itself, uh, probably. So. Yeah, that's right. Everything is listed over here from objective about why we are doing it, what it is and how it can help the people, which is really good. Yeah, so cheat sheets are different. Like every cheat sheet can be different because uh, they are written by many people. This is very a community driven project. And also there are different types of cheat sheets, different uh, you know challenges that we have. So uh for example we have cheat sheets that help to prevent specific vulnerabilities like cross-site request forgery cheat sheet for example uh which yeah it's here uh so this kind of cheat sheets that uh, tell you how to implement some functionality or how to defend against some specific vulnerability are often written in a form that you have introduction to the uh, short introduction to the vulnerability and then uh, bullet points like the most important parts what you have to uh, consider during the implementation and rest of it is like more detailed explanation how to do this what are the options advantages and disadvantages of the uh, different uh, mitigations and or implementations um, we have also advices for specific technology. Uh, as an example, uh, here's .NET, but there's also a very good uh, Node.js security cheat sheet, which I will um, Yeah. It's your Node.js. Yeah. So here there are a lot of things that are specific for Node.js and uh, if we are talking, for example, here will be something about input validation. So there will be example how to do this in Node.js, but specifically right. like how the input validation, like what should be validated, etc. There will be a link to another cheat sheet because we have another like technology agnostic cheat sheet for the input validation. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, and last example is like our recent addition is uh, microservices security cheat sheet which is like more high level microservices security as yes, that one this is like more high level because this is more meant for architects or for people who are designing uh, microservices like the whole solution uh, which you now discuss the patterns for example how to authenticate between different uh, microservices and like advantages and disadvantages of different patterns uh, uh, yeah, so there's no specific how to implement these things. It's like more uh, high level. Mm -hmm. So as you can see, like wow. there's uh, a lot of things that creators, builders of the application have to think about during the uh, development. Uh, we try to put them in pretty short, like as short as, as we can uh, form uh, and yeah, present. Uh, this is really helpful. This is really, really helpful because, see, uh, you always go for the offensive side, but breaking things is easily, but then building them is very difficult. And I can see that even the conferences are moving towards understanding the defensive things that how uh, uh, people can actually talk more about defensive things. So it's very, very important to know that, yes, these sheet sheets are available for development teams and for people who are working on security. Uh, yeah. So we have a big project like testing the guide, right? For mobile, for web application inside OWASP that talks about uh, more offensive stuff. Uh, and this is one is more meant for uh, developers and how to uh, protect ourselves. Right, totally. And um, one more thing, Jacob, like now, these cheat sheets are available. We know that it's helpful for developers. It's helpful for the security people. Uh, and they're unique in their own way. No two cheat sheets are same uh, because they're mm -hmm. being helped by different people. 
how someone can help this project if they think that they're working on uh, java .NET, or even python how can they start contributing towards the cheats uh, so there are two ways how to contribute you can go to the github probably page i think that the link oh yeah uh, so uh, the best way to contribute is to either create pull requests to improve things uh, or to create issues in uh, in github and um, so the easiest way to contribute is when you are using cheat sheets and you see something to improve like it can be something small as typo uh, or like english grammar some spelling or maybe you know some better advice or we and now uh, the technology updated and we didn't update yet the cheat sheets let us know about this and create either pull request with the solution like proposed solution or just an issue we will uh, love to see that and um, if you want to use cheat sheets and you see that some you know topic is not covered it's exactly the same path if you feel like yeah, I know about this stuff. I can write uh, a cheat sheet about this, uh, create a pull request. Uh, we will help you like from the idea to the publishing for the whole process. If you don't like to write about this, but you know, you see that something is missing. Also let us know, we will discuss in, uh, in issues, uh, how it, uh, like, is it, Cheat sheet a good place for that, or this is different, uh, for example, OWASP project. Uh, and yeah, we'll try to find some contributor uh, who will uh, create this. Um, yeah, and we are also looking for reviewers. So not everyone likes to create stuff. Uh, sometimes it's hard to put your thoughts to, into the uh, cheat sheet. So every cheat sheet is reviewed by uh, core team and community uh, and we would like to have more people who are looking for the fixes and treats before they are uh, released uh, we have to update asbs index so if you are more, more developer or you are only starting the uh, your security journey uh, and you want to like add something to this project uh, we'll find something uh, useful. Uh, we'll find some important work that you can help regardless of like your skill set probably or your like experience. Yeah, absolutely. I think this is really, really helpful. And I'm looking forward to contributing more to this project. And probably nice. we'll have more <laughs> and more people uh, joining us for the cheat sheets because they are the stepping stones for building a secure environment and application. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, sure. So thank you so much, Jacob, for joining us today. And probably we'll have you at many more such projects which are part of OWASP Spotlight Series. Thank you. Thank you so much.